Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Morning in the Mountains and Story, story time, time with Santa, Santa and, and Mrs. Mrs. Claus. Claus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, we're getting better at that. You well, know, I swear are. to God, every, we are. every week we get a little closer. <laughs> Pretty soon so. we could almost be pros. Nah. No. Oh, well, it was a <laughs> That thought. would take all the fun away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, we hope thought. everybody's had a wonderful week. Yeah. It was a beautiful yeah. weekend. A little, on, a little on the humid side, but, yeah. you know, yeah, David promised us lower humidity on Saturday and I Sunday. I know, our weatherman, David Aldrich, yeah. And, <laughs> and, and Captain Accurate was dead on again. He so, was, he So, you was. know, it's always nice to tune in <laughs> to him and find out what's going on. Yeah. Of course, we always check with him before we come down from the the North Pole. We do. So yeah, we yeah. want to know what we're flying into. Uh -huh. That's why I'm, I'm in short I know. sleeves. <laughs> it's going to be in the 80s today. Boy, little, you you people don't look. know how good I you know. got it down here. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a little different. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you might see us in, in a little uh, different uh, more summertime yes. attire uh, yeah. because it, it is starting to get into the well, high 80s today and, and 90s. maybe even 90 tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah yes, you know, yeah. David said 90. Now, it's still a little cooler up north. Yes. However, yeah. we're it's actually getting, into just jacket weather pretty yeah, much. And, yeah, you know, Because we're, we're used to that. So. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. but we got a terrific show for you we today. Do. We have a but before we, we get too far, I, and, and again, yeah. um, this is so fun. I, uh, Emma Hardcastle said, yep, I'm from the UK. And so is this book. And I'll tell you, this this is a wonderful book. It's called um, The Terrific Trip of Douglas Drip. And it's a <laughs> fun little book to read. These, this is one of the ones that it's like you're reading it and you go, it is. oh, it's so cute. So it is. we it's couldn't a... resist that. And Carol Mace wrote it. Uh -huh. And it's illustrated by Beth Yates. Yep. And we're going to read it for you. Yes. So, so I better I better move Santa yeah, so we can Santa's see. Santa's got to kind of take a back seat here. And <laughs> otherwise, you're go. not going to be seeing much of the book. So anyway, now we have lots of comments today, and we're loving it. Keep them coming, folks, because one of you yeah. is going to win this very special book from the UK and guess what it's autographed down here mm -hmm. by Carol herself yeah. so you'll have an autographed book from Great Britain yes um, that you know we got a hold of here for for your listening pleasure so okay so kids yes got your listening ears on mm -hmm. okay if you're ready I'm ready all right okay and it's a little longer book, so settle yes, in. Yes, is, so make sure you, you settle in and listen. Okay. <clears throat> the sun shone down on the sea one day where the white and orange clownfish lay. Seahorses swam in their undersea caves, a silent world beneath the waves. Almost invisible white mist appeared out of the sea, and it looked really weird. <laughs> It swirled in the air, floating higher and higher. It looked like thin smoke. <gasps> Was the sea on fire? Oh, no. <laughs> Look out, fire, the reef crab cried. Save yourselves. We'll all be fried. <laughs> <laughs> A little crab spoke. I thought you knew that water puts out fire. It's true. This must be warm air, which happens when the sun heats the sea and then warm air floats up and it turns cold, then makes a cloud, or so I'm told. <laughs> and it happened as angelfish fed, a rain cloud was made, as the little crab said. It grew big and woolly like a giant sheep's body. It looked like the day would end rather soggy. <laughs> the gentle breeze stopped and a swirling wind blew. The clouds started floating as new clouds grew. 
The wind blew harder and the cloud moved faster, curling around like spaghetti pasta. <laughs> 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 Spaghetti pasta, I love that. <laughs> Small clouds of water began to appear inside the rain cloud in the shape of a sphere. <laughs> they doubled in number. They doubled in size. And soon they were bobbing and flinging high fives. <laughs> and how merry it was for a very short time. But the raindrops got squashed and they started to whine. <laughs> Hey, can't you move over and give me some space? Said a rude water drop with a very flat face. <laughs> er, um, no, replied Douglas, as that was his name. I know it's a squash, but try not to complain. Please let us out, I can't take any more. Hey, where's the way out? Does this thing have a door? <laughs> Complaining, the raindrops started to slip and down the rain cloud and toward Douglas Drip. <laughs> the drop sped on from a roll to a gush. Douglas knew then he would end up as mush. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he had to do something. Quick, think of an idea. A grand, clever plan to get out of here. With no time to waste, Douglas started to push down hard on the cloud to escape the crush. Then all of a sudden, a curious thing, the desperate drops began somersaulting. <laughs> out of the raindrops, or out of the rain cloud and into fresh air, whirling and twirling, like at a fun fair. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops of delight followed cheers of glee. Hooray for that little guy. He set us free. Douglas was a superhero of the day. Amazing. Quite brilliant. A legend, they, I'd say. <laughs> I don't suppose you know where we'll land. I just wondered if you had anything planned. Douglas was asked by a fast-falling drop. I'm not too sure we'll be able to stop. <laughs> well, the raindrops all gasped, realizing their plight. The mountain below was a terrible sight. So whose bright idea was it to fall from that cloud? Asked a big stroppy drop to a big stroppy crowd. Douglas could see that the angry mob knew. Come on then, wise guy, tell us what we should do. Douglas was scared but said, let's have a race. <laughs> Stroppy do Drop declared it was a raindrop chase. <laughs> and so the countdown began from 10 to 0. And the drops pitter-pattered on the earth below. Douglas splashed on a leaf in the river with three other drops. It was scary, however. <laughs> a brave drop said, fear not, I'll be the captain. I'm sure I can handle this white water rafting. <laughs> the leaf hurtled on for a mile and a quarter and then hit a rock and sank into deep water. But Douglas held on to that green little leaf, the way he had clung to the weeds on the reef. Back then he was happy, his life full of pleasure, before he was part of this mad, wild adventure. <laughs> well, after a while the rapids were gone, the river was calm, and the leaf floated on. Douglas at last could relax on his own and wander around on his green mobile home. <laughs> the sun shone down on the river that day where Douglas Drip on his leaf now lay. Fish swam in zigzags through the water below in a silent world beneath the flow. So what happens now? 
Do you know? I bet you do. What do you think happens to <laughs> Douglas Drip after this? That's the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a hint. You can start all over again from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> well, what a great Wasn't book. Wasn't that a delightful book? It's, I just absolutely loved it. Thank you so that. much. It was it was just wonderful to uh to read this and uh it's a great story, huh? It it is. And you know, Emma Hardcastle says so great to see one of our books being enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you. We hope your viewers love it too. And uh, Emma is is actually the publisher. She is with Curious Cat Books in the United in Kingdom, the UK, yeah. and she's the one that actually produced this for Carol uh, Mason Beth Yates. So a special thank you uh, to Emma for getting the book to us. Boy, I just I had a blast reading that. So that was kind of fun. But and of course, um, as always. Uh, we come to our website, the, the NorthPolePress.com. And again, if you look under For Parents, uh, let me get to that tab down here. And then we have Featured Books. And every book that we read, uh, we always put um, up here. And this way, if you want to buy the book, you know exactly where to go. So let me come back down here and there it is. There it is. And we go to Curious, and Curious Cat, Books. Cat Books, who I was just talking yeah. about. So, and then she has, I think I need to scroll down a little bit, but. Uh, she has all kinds of books. She does. So and we actually have nice. another book that we'll be reading in but a while. There so, it is. And there's Douglas Trip. And there's Douglas Trip. <laughs> so that's uh, um, that link is is already up there. So you can uh, uh, go and and look and uh, uh, see what she has there. So speaking of Hannah, do we have a uh, winner for the terrific trip of Douglas Trip? Let's see. We'll, we'll see who she pulls up. Yeah. Because it goes by, you know, how many comments we've had, and then it picks a random number, and whoever has that number gets, is going to get yeah, our gets, book. Gets so. book. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for Hannah to tell us who won, I'm going to remind you that you should be tuning in to Mountain Fun Life and, of course, Morning in the Mountains morning. every single every morning. Day. You every want day. to tell them who's all coming up next? Well, of course, every morning, um, and we 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 mentioned him earlier, but we have the uh, Captain Accurate Weather with David Aldrich, and he gives you um, actually pinpoint weather right here in the Smoky Mountains. So, it, you know, while you're here visiting, that's what's important to you to to see what the weather is here. Uh, not necessarily in, in other parts of uh, uh, Tennessee. So you make sure you start with him. And then tomorrow. And he has something every single morning. Yeah, so, well, he does. Yep, you know, every and morning. updates it during the day. So. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, oh, our winner is Emily Jacobs Hand. Yes. So, Emily, congratulations. You got the terrific oh, how uh, fun. trip of. of Douglas Drip. Yeah. So, and we'll get that out to you th later this week. So, <laughs> so oh, be watching for that. Yeah, and how fun are and it's our first, you know, book from the UK. So we we hope we'll uh, we'll get some others to uh, to share. But uh, um, it's always fun to be able to uh, reach out to our friends across the pond. Um, mm -hmm. So. And I think that just about does it for I us today. I think so. I think so. so. <laughs> Thank you so much as always, as always. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs>